what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know why i got two headphones on um yeah welcome back Q season four we're gonna be finishing up the season today 11 12 and 13 and then i will have my so far review at the end of this so make sure you come back to check that out after you go watch the reaction i know a lot of you guys do not watch my intros right i know for those of you that do thank you so very much i'm gonna be starting to do some surprises and stuff in my intros and reviews um and it's not really to encourage people to watch the stuff and don't just come here to to jump to the google drive um because i want you guys to keep watching the intro and review so that we could keep up the watch time and view time well same thing but watch time and views on the channel right so i'm gonna be starting to do some surprises at the end of my intros and the end of my reviews so if you watch those you will be entered into contest and stuff like that to win extra prizes and stuff like that on the channel it's stuff that i have planned but hey if you don't watch this intro you're not gonna know about it okay and you're not gonna know when it starts either okay so I'm just letting you guys know if you're watching this, thank you guys so much for watching my intros and my reviews because it really does help the channel. Anyways, hi, hi, <laughs> Karasuno is in a match, ready to go. Um, right now, they're, you know, Kageyama the King has returned and it's very, very much so exciting, right? Um, the King has finally adjusted to, the, to his spatial awareness and stuff like that so he's ready to go now they're gonna see the real karasuno in actions by kageyama hinata daichi uh tanaka yes the great ones even gucci you know what i'm saying gucci got a couple of points there um on them uh yeah so thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all so let's just jump into this man and i will see you guys for a comprehensive review after you come back. All right, so that was the first part of season four, and I am ready for part two, but we don't know when we're going to get that. So as I said at the end of the video, please let me know in the comment section if you guys it, um know if we got an update of when haikyuu will be back um as i said i know that it was interrupted by you know covid19 um my god my god what a good anime man what a what a good anime and the first match i don't expect them i didn't expect karasuna to do nothing less than they did i as i said i think i did say in a review that i would not be surprised if they won that match in straight sets and they did um those guys didn't seem like they was ready for prime time now they're going up against a prodigy and they're twins he has a twin i didn't even know i didn't even know that that was just revealed but i don't think his brother is as good as him but they are a tandem if they're twins they're probably um one might be better than the other but at the same time they might be close to each other's level so i can't gonna evaluate him until i see them play but in other case Hinata jumping and forgetting to hit because he's so caught up in that he learned how to to jump as Kageyama kind of taught him you got to learn to jump jump off you know the balls of your feet and not just you know what I'm saying because some people they jump off their tippy toes you know what I'm saying you jump off um your tippy toes not not really your toe toe but like the front of your foot to your toes you use that to jump you know what I'm saying most people that's how they jump um you know but if you want to be effective in your in your jumping the best place to jump off is the balls of your feet to get height you get what i'm saying not necessarily because the thing about it is that when you jump off your tippy toes right when you jump off your tippy toes you don't really get that much leverage to really push you get what i'm saying to really push you get a lot but you don't get a lot a lot you know what i'm saying you jump off the balls of your feet you get a lot more push because your leverage your leverage is better your leveling is better your everything is better 
when you jump that way so i'm glad that they're implementing that in the anime now that i'm all caught up with haikyuu let me give my review on the anime so far i think i don't think haikyuu is as good as hajime no ippo iq is not going to be in my top five anime it's just not sports anime it's still gonna be behind ippo i have not watched enough sports anime for me to have a top five in sports anime but it's definitely not on ippo's level i'm gonna be honest about that and this is coming from an objective point of view guys that i'm judging the anime off of is that it has good osts don't get me wrong got good osts it, it you know it gets in your feet it's what you want out of a sports anime but when i'm talking about hype level when you're talking about hype level it is not where ippo is ippo just does these little things you know what i'm saying it just does these little things that really really gets you into the anime and more immersed than what haikyuu does so if i was supposed to judge it from an objective point of view i would give this anime uh a, a eight and a half out of ten for these four seasons all together a, a eight and a half out of ten season four is not done yet but i'm talking about if i should judge the first three seasons i would give it a good a nine but this season we're at episode 13 in this season and they really has and that's the reason why i'm dropping off a half a point because they haven't really shown anything in this season that i could say okay it warrants like my hype level is up there i want to see part two very much so but i think season three was the high point of this of this um show so far i think season three is the high point everything is kind of falling off we haven't really seen anything in season four yet so that's why i don't really want to include it in if i was supposed to include it in i would drop a half a point but if we're judging one through three i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten okay so just want to be clear on that season three is one of the best season of animes i've ever watched it was only 10 episodes and it was hype the whole time you get what i'm saying the imagery everything about it was just was just there it was up there you know what i'm saying so i really really enjoyed season three i think season three is the best season of the show so far um getting to know all of these people in in season four you know remembering all of these names and stuff like that um you know it's gonna wane you know what i'm saying it's, it's gonna get to the point where i just at this point kageyama hinata i want to see them get better what can you show me to make me feel like this is it because as i said the matchup i want to see in nationals it ain't against um bokuto it ain't against these dudes that they're going up against now my the matchup i want to see is karasuno versus nekama that's the series that's the matchup i want to see i don't care if it doesn't happen in the finals i don't care i just want to see that match that is the only thing left in this anime right now that i would want that i want to see that i'm looking forward to anything that comes before and after that i'm not saying i wouldn't be interested in them but that's where my hype level would go through the roof for this anime right now because that has been built up since season one that's what i want to see that is the matchup i want to see it's basically offense versus defense i want to see that match because nekoma is a beast karasuno is a beast the other schools you know it's interesting to know to, to know about them but they're not as interesting to me as nekoma they're just not i'm just i'm just being honest guys they're just not they're cool they're cool and it's gonna be nice to watch the matches against them but at the end of the day if karasuno does not play nekoma by the end of this series i'm gonna be really mad i'm gonna be really mad because that has been set up throughout this entire show it's been set up that we need to see the battle at the, the the dumpster we need to see that battle you know what i'm saying so i just want to put that out there but in any case guys as i said this is not a it's not a 10 out of 10 anime for me and 
it's highly recommended too it's highly recommended i would recommend people to watch haikyuu no doubt about it um it's not because i played volleyball while i'm not super hyped about this about this ha anime to the point where you know what i'm saying i'm jumping out my seat every second i wasn't doing that for ipoido i never boxed so but there's so much more to the aspects th that that ippo brings to um the genre of sports anime that i mess with more than when it comes to haikyuu um i got emotional a, lo a lot more times in ippo um you know what i'm saying the, the 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 original ost in in um in ippo is unmatched it's unmatched you get what i'm saying like it's 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 unmatched that ost is is legendary you know what i'm saying the stuff that happens the emotional aspect of ippo just outshines haikyuu not to say that haikyuu did not have emotional moments but i don't think they dive deep enough into those emotional moments though they had purely inspirational moment i think out of the whole series last season season three was the best sukishima's moment that was the first time that the emotions they really dig deep into setting up that moment from the beginning of season two so um throughout season two right so i really like that everybody else it was kind of like you know okay they went through this but they really set up that moment for sukishima and it was well done well done you know what i'm saying like um i really enjoyed that that was one of my favorite moments if not my favorite moments of the anime you know what i'm saying like after you see the super quick enough times you get so used to it you know what i'm saying you feel kind of spoiled to the point where it doesn't even surprise you anymore it's just like it's hype to see it and to see every time that a new team see it, they're like wow how did they do that you know what i'm saying like it gets old <laughs> you know what i'm saying it gets old you know what i mean so it's kind of like they improved it but it was still the same super quick they improved it and it was cool to see how they improved it but I, but as i said the super quick get old and this is just me talking about the anime from an objective point of view if i was supposed to look at this from a subjective point of view it would be a 10 out of 10 anime for me but i have to be critical of the things that i didn't necessarily enjoy about the anime um as i said in a sports anime you don't necessarily gonna get a story story deep story or anything like that because sports anime is play by play you know what i'm saying it's 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 play by play it's who's next you get what i'm saying it's a matchup who's next we beat them who's next we beat them who's next who's on the horizon who's the best right now let's go beat them too you know what i'm saying so um there's a deeper underlying story and and um and things that you can that can learn from haikyuu just like as much as i learned from hajime no ippo you want those things you want i want to watch things that you you know provides motivation you know what i'm saying um i think i think kids and adults um both can learn from watching sports anime because it really does take this kind of stuff um these this kind of um attitude to really do sports you get what i'm saying to do sports to do life you can take these lessons and bring them to you know to your real life and be like you know what i'm not gonna give up i'm gonna get better i'm going to be the best i want to be the best even though i know that guy is the best i still want to be the best he could jump i'm gonna try to jump higher than him that's just how it is the competitive level and keep it at a competitive level don't go to the, the point where you know you become an asshole or your ego gets too much of you and then you start to fail so uh so yeah man so as i said from if you look at this anime from a critical point of view there is no way i can give this anime there are flaws there are flaws with it there are tropes um in the in this anime that i didn't really enjoy but the other stuff kind of overcome it um overcome those things you get what i'm saying um i think the slice of life episodes are some of the best that i've ever seen in any anime and i enjoyed those slice of life episodes um 
you know the typical boys fawning over girls and stuff like that and the thing about it is this i don't know if this happens in japan i see it all the time where guys are just fawning over girls i just don't understand that stuff in anime like i've i've never really resonated with that because i never see that that don't necessarily happen in real life unless you're a nerd boys don't really fawn over girls like that in 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 high school for that matter that's more like some basic middle school and not even middle school you know what i'm saying because in middle school boys are not really talking to girls they think they have cooties anyways you know what i'm saying and when they get to high school boys believe that they're so cool they don't really they're not fawning over girls like that so that's a part of the anime that I, I, um, I see in most anime, right, that I never really mess with. Like, this is probably the first time I'm, I've ever talked about this, but it's something about anime that I don't like, where they make boys just fawn over girls and just and then they, they just get rejected, rejected, rejected. And don't get me wrong, the rejection part is something that happens, but the whole Gravelin being super happy when you see them and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I just don't like seeing it. I just don't like seeing it. I think it does happen, but it doesn't happen on the degree that anime tries to, to show it off as. Like, they make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Like, women in some ways are to be worshipped or or they're making these boys, like, go overboard with how they, they, you know what I'm saying, simp for these women, for these girls. You know what I'm saying? And... As I said, I'm not saying that this stuff doesn't happen in high school. It does happen, but it doesn't happen to the degree of how they portray it in, in anime. And it's one of the things about anime. Let me tell you something. The relationship in Hajime no Ippo, that's more like what what high school um, high school relationship used to be. Even though Ippo is out of high school, he's boxing, he's a professional boxer now in the show, right? When he's... Even though him and Kumi hasn't officially called himself boyfriend and girlfriend, that's what relationships is, um that's what relationships are usually like in high school. Both of them are shy. They like each other. They won't say nothing to each other. They might even go on a date and they still don't know if they like each other. Like that's more realistic. It's more grounded to think that that's happened more than, you know, girls show up and you're like like, oh my god oh she's here you know what i'm saying like uh you know what i'm saying so um it's cool to see and it's funny i don't know if they're doing it as because it's you know how they want to portray how boys fawn over girls in high school or whatever um but as i said teenagers are going to be teenagers like we love to get boys as boys when i was when i was playing sports right the girls come around you trying to show off it's it's how it is but but showing off is different from when a girl comes around and you're and you want her to touch you and all of this other stuff like that part of it i don't like the part i described earlier that's the part that's more realistic like when when um she's is it shizuru i don't i don't remember her name but the manager f for the team right when she made the banner and she told them to do their best like stuff like that really means a lot you know coming from a girl to a boy you get what i'm saying it means a lot and you know what i'm saying so that's part of it i'm sorry i'm taking so long to on this point but i really need to say it because i don't think i've ever discussed this before that it's a trope in anime that i don't like i don't like it i don't like seeing it because it's just like in naruto i never liked the fact that he continuously ignored hinata that liked him and was fawning over sakura that couldn't give two shits about him like stuff like that um is it's very grounded and it's very true it happens in real life but i just I didn't like the aspect of how it was how it was portrayed as if as if Sakura is just an all of a sudden one day like you like boys on a regular basis don't do that if we get rejected we're not going to stay in your presence as a matter of fact that's called stalking and that's something that majority of men don't do you get what I'm trying to say so when 
even as a boy a boy is not going to stalk a girl we we probably sit off in the distance and you know look and admire you know what i'm saying and wish but we're not going to be in your space no more once we get rejected we're just not going to be in your space anymore so i think that's one of the things that we're where it's just like i think that because you know some people when i discuss people naruto um about this with other people they're like well they're on the same team they're always around each other yeah but it's just how it was portrayed just didn't sit well with me yes you know in the end we know what happens between naruto and hinata but on his way to get there and that's why you know even sakura herself um you know continuously call him dense because he just couldn't see it if you watch um the movie naruto the last right if you watch that movie you will see what i'm talking about you get what i'm saying because even in that movie sakura was still calling him dense because he just he doesn't get it any dude there's no dude that is that i don't know any dude that is that dense like they go too far with it sometimes when it comes on to re to relationships you know what i'm saying they go too far the way how they portray relationships in anime they just go too far with it sometimes between these young kids and i know i don't know no young kids that act like that unless you're a complete nerd that doesn't that you know what i'm saying not even shy guys do what they do that, that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying it's just like how in this where you have tanaka and this new girl that he grew up with she obviously likes him but and it looks like he likes her too you get what i'm saying but for some reason you know what i mean he thinks he has a shot with with shizuru or whatever her name is you get what i'm saying because he was he he, he he wants to tell her that he likes it but instead he kind of blew her out oh i'm taken bro you ain't with nobody what are you talking about you know what i'm saying and she looks like and she's a really nice girl too so it's just those aspects that i'm like i'm just really iffy on on how they portray those things and it goes for all anime it doesn't make me enjoy the anime any less or any more but it is a factor that i don't really like how they portray certain relationships when it comes on to these like your shonen animes they just make it too it's just it, it's just too weird and out of order but it's, it's okay in the moment when i'm react when, when i'm reacting to it it's funny it's, it, you know what i'm saying it's funny you know what i'm saying and sometimes you'll probably hear me say well boys will be boys <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it is what it is in the moment but in the afterthought when i'm really objective as i am now you know what i'm saying i look at that stuff and it really it, it really irks me you know what i'm saying it really irks me to, to know that they're still doing that in anime you know what i'm saying but it is what it is that's my opinion um you know you guys are not always going to agree with me you know what i'm saying i don't i'm not looking for yes men over on my channel everybody deserves to have an opinion and just as much as i respect yours i expect you to respect my opinion and i'm not going to to bash anybody for saying you know this and that and i'm my point might be invalid you know what i'm saying my point may be invalid or whatever you might have a different stance on it you might like it maybe in your country that's how it is with boys and girls i don't know but it is what it is yeah i mean so i'm gonna sign off now and stop talking as i said eight and a half out of ten for the com for the complete catch up but it's a nine out of ten anime for me when it comes on to if i'm just gonna judge the f the um one seasons one two and three by itself because four is not complete so it's hard for me to say um you know what i'm saying it's just basically if we're gonna say that this is halfway through the season and we got 30 more episodes coming right if we're gonna say that season four beginning it's kind of it's it's cool you know what i'm saying it's cool but the hype level just wasn't there for me that's all i'm saying but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always make sure to hit that like button we are all caught up with haiku man so leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think of relationships in anime do you think boys really act like this with girls i would really like to know what you guys think okay i appreciate you guys and i see you guys for next time for some more haiku whenever it returns all right see you guys for that